other rulers just to drive them up and to photograph the coverage of the Albert Sachsen friends. Chair of the Cupboard Glen Abbey. Todd B has a two stroke lead over Ron Jacket and Andre Ford. And it looks like it's those three guys fighting for that one spot to be an interloper. Whereas everyone else is just trying their best to do well. So let's see what Glen Abbey brings us. There's a real big eagle there. Giant eagle. Alright, the final two. Parents Ford and Pole. Andre Ford, 30th on the money list. Number one in sand, number two categories, number five in putts and regulation. 600 par on the front nine. Pesky Pole, 35th on the money list. He's 6 in sand, 7th in greens, and 9th in regulation. 1 over, 3 under, and 1 under. Ron Jacket, Todd B, 8th on the money list, number 1 fairways and putts and regulation, 4 under, 5 under, and even par on the front nines this week. Whoa, that's a terrible shot, that's to the right. Ron Jacket, I'll go Ron Jacket, 19th on the money list, 2nd in putts, 6 in greens with regulation, minus 4, minus 3, and even, 7 under par on the front nine. And he's down to the hand side. Uh, not as bad as Todd is. Todd trying to get out of there. As few strokes as possible. Is that? Up and over. Alright, for birdie. Oh, so far. Not for birdie. Got it. That's a big thing for Jacket. He's only one stroke back. for three.
to win. The birdie. What? No, he missed. Sorrel on seven, but it doesn't really matter, does it?
it over. Jacket says 
I was so pet the day feet away. Looking pretty impressive. There's Dave Gardner. He's out of easy touch, but looks like it's gonna be a long jack experiment. He's only nine holes away. The word's not out of it either. That's wild. That's a good hole. Jack it had a two under par front nine. Minus one even and minus six. Yeah, it's very back nine yesterday. Tied B, well, three over par front nine, not his triple T. Minus five, minus one, minus one. This back nine will have to get a little better than that.
He might pull off. Ooh, that wind is shifting. Um, or second shot. No. Dusty. He's at 10, so he's four back. A couple of holes ahead, you buddy. Luke Ford. Par three, four. That's a left hand turn. Some ports tend to do. The car has a car.
McNeil. Six before pesky pull a plus nine. Ouch. Turn it 
Jackets and Parts, a brown jacket. What a job by Brown Jacket of 171. That was good enough to win the tournament by three strokes over Mike in the truck. Andre Ford and Todd B tied for third. Todd was first place throughout and it looked like he was definitely going to be the interloper, but no one less. Von Jacket has taken the tournament by storm. Dave Garner did well. He got to 8 under par. Well, he's sixth. He was already there, but yeah, Dave Garner will be waiting another month. But yeah, so Von Jacket. Dice will be thrown. Which group will um, Jacket will be part of the 60-70s. So jacket. Sits on October, November, December. Oh, so Ron Jacket will be October. Yeah, so October. So Ron Jacket next. Not Ron Jacket will head to the 60-70s and will start in October. As the dice roll says, so he'll be there. Not a Glen Abbey, but you know, he'll be 60, 70 feet. So 90s Kent won't have any interloper because remember, it was the three guys, and Ron Jacket punches his ticket and becomes an interloper. So we'll see what Uncle Ron can do on the 60s, 70s tour. He's got a couple of map play things too, which we'll keep our eyeballs on, but. You know, that's for sure. So, great tournament by all, not by me or Al Red Sox fan. We just, we love it. Anyway, for Object Diamond, I do. And that.